everyone, welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. Or expect when we don't post videos. Who are we? I'm Binx. If you're new here, hello. We should do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I just like putting these at the start of every video. Don't do that. Hey guys, Minx here. Here's a playthrough of the original Alone in the Dark, all the way back from 1992. Shout out to Icebreaker for making this video possible. You're amazing as always, Icebreaker. Thank you for the continued support. And I have to shout out our producer, Alice's sister, because she's super numkin and makes all these videos possible. So thank you so much, Alice. Thank you so much, Icebreaker. Check out Alice's links on screen right now. We're going to be playing some We Were Here Together and Evil Dead the game together next month. So make sure you're following her. And uh, let's uh, be alone in the dark. Although I'm not alone because I'm with Chris. Hello and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. And except when we don't post videos. If you're new here, hello, I'm Quizm. And I'm Minx. It's very nice to meet you. I hope you're doing, having a lovely day and have, you're doing very well. But if you're not, hopefully this video will help cheer you up. We're playing a game today. We're playing a game that's almost as old as you, actually. <laughs> y yes, I am very old. I have gray hair and crow's feet. This game is a year younger than you. Well, it probably doesn't have the gray hair then. What are we playing? I, I don't know. Why don't you tell them? <laughs> you, I mean, you do know. <laughs> otherwise, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> Alone in the Dark we are playing today. The very first one, the original, as voted for by our wonderful patrons. If you want to get involved with the Patreon voting, link is in the description. Go sup and take part in the community. Oh my god, this is not Rainbow Armadillo. I've never seen it. Oh my Jesus god, demographics. Alone in the Dark by Infograms. Oh, baby, the sound. Oh my god! It's a very spooky page turning. I used to have a lot of games by Infograms. I think they merged into Ubisoft, I want to say. Mm. Could be completely wrong, though. Because I think Alone in the Dark's owned by Atari now, so that makes even less sense. Mmm. Oh, special thanks to H.P. Lovecraft. Shout out to my boy Lovecraft. <laughs> <laughs> 1992. Yeah, it's a year younger than me. All right, let's begin a new game. Which character are we going to play? The girl or the boy? We're going to play the girl. Okay. I mean, it's okay. It makes no difference. The game is exactly the same, whoever you pick. The attorney's letter came as a deep shock to me. My Uncle Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. Oh no, Baby Numkin, what shall we do? I don't know. I will say the art in this is gorgeous, the pixel art. Mm. We're going to a... I mean, I couldn't tell that was a car until it was right there. We're doing going to a Louisiana mansion. Just like in the other game we played we, this we, month, we actually. We just did that. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, Frogger. How are you? His name is Frog Chan. Well, look at that little pencil skirt. Just drive off it by did, itself. and there's, there's a werewolf or something watching us from the window, too. Because, of course, there is. Oh my god, that face! <laughs> oh my god, that face! Oh my god! <laughs> Have you never seen this game before? No! I mean, I've seen clips of it, but not the female! <laughs> There's three of them like this, by the way. There's three games in this style with this engine from the same era. <laughs> it looks like that weird Kermit meme. <laughs> oh my god, I can't!
I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is still the opening cutscene. Oh! By the way, you can see the floor there's going to collapse at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a trap that one-shots you later on. If you're not careful. Wow, there's not much going on in this cutscene. We, we have to walk up to where our uh, uncle hung himself. All right. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we have to do immediately here, right, <laughs> is... Okay, I'll explain. If you don't push this cupboard in front of the window, a werewolf's going to come smashing through it within a few minutes and kill you. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I have to choose actions and push. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Why isn't it working? Can you not do it because you're a woman? Oh, maybe? I think I should be able to. Am I in just the wrong place? Oh no. We're gonna die soon. This is a great start, everyone. Baby! Baby! <laughs> Why won't she push it? I think it's because she's a woman and she can't push something that heavy. We're gonna have to play as the man then. Because that's video game logic. Yeah, no, I. We're going out back, guys! <laughs> Do you wanna see what happens if the guy gets you? Yeah. Because it is quite entertaining. Yeah. Oh, do you have to maybe pull? Well, it's too late now. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, werewolf. It sort oh. of bounces. <laughs> oh. oh my god, what the fuck is oh. that? Oh. <laughs> the monsters in this are very unique, I will say that, by the way. You can take quite a few hits. We're going to be here for like a, like a minute. You ready to be chowed down on? It might be best we play the man anyway, in case you just keep laughing at the woman's face the entire time. Listen, I'm probably gonna la laugh at the. <laughs> you feel weak. Oh, that's. I gotta say, she's very resilient. She though. is. She take. You can take a lot of hits in this game, actually, quite a lot more than I would expect you to be able to, if I'm honest with you. But now, look, this death sequence for every death. This is the final area of the game, by the way, that we're in right now. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the face! It's still the face! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the end. We did our best, guys. Guys, women can push in this world. I was just doing it wrong, okay? You choose push, and then you press spacebar to do the action, which is really, really dumb. But now, no werewolf is getting near me. We did it, baby. So numb. All right. So, what we need to do now is push this chest over here onto this wonderful trapdoor. Because this is part of the next puzzle, okay? Okay. This game, um, is old as fuck. Oh, that's the push You see the push animation? Yeah, I did. There you go. Oh my god. I will say it's revolutionary, a woman being able to push anything in a video game. That isn't like a paper holder. <laughs> oh, did oh. you not get it enough? Don't know. What are you trying to do? Oh, you're trying to open it. Oh, yay! We got a rifle. We haven't got any bullets, but I did get a rifle. I don't think he got in. No. I think he broke the window and he was like, oh, see, something's trying to get up? Yeah. But we stopped it because we were smart. This game's full of lots of things like that, by the way. Lots of bullshit, if I'm perfectly honest with you. <laughs> 
where it's like, it's gonna be like, if you don't do something when you're in a room within a certain amount of time, you're fucked. Okay, mm. that sort of thing. The good news with this game is you can save wherever you want. Oh. Wherever. That is so nice. So that's good. Anyway. <laughs> I think we can now open the wardrobe and see what's inside there safely without getting uh, nommed on by a bumpkin, okay? Mm hmm Sorry, I'm gonna take some getting used to this, okay? I found an old Indian cover. Okay. I have no idea that is. It's a blanket. It's a colorful blanket, basically. So to run in this, you have to double tap, okay? The problem, double tap arrow keys, the problem is, because the game runs at a different frame rate on modern PCs, it doesn't always work. In fact, it works like one in 10 times. <laughs> Which is going to be an issue later on when we have to run away from things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? She's so beautiful. What's wrong? Why are you? Why are you shaming a beautiful woman, of a numpkin? Listen, I understand beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I am the beholder, and <laughs> it's not. I found an oil can. Hooray! All right, so what we can do now, other than save again a million times, okay, mm -hmm. is bring up the inventory. We have an oil can, mm -hmm. okay? We can use the oil can, and that fills our lantern, so when we get into dark sections, we can automatically see in the dark. Oh, that's lovely. Which is, you know, I would say pretty handy, right? Yeah. I don't like door? that. I don't know. All right, so this is where we saw the collapsed... You see the collapsed corridor here? Uh -huh. I'm going to just save, and we'll we'll see what happens. Um, if I can remember how to save again. There we go. You're not saving over the same slot, are you? I am, because there's only one slot. See? Oh, no, I can save other slots. Yeah. <laughs> well. The end! Okay, <laughs> let's not step on there this time and go through there, okay? Mm -hmm. I like how you're sassing me. Oh, there's only one slot. Well, I thought there was because- Well, you didn't check! Listen, Nomkin. Listen, Nomkin, you. It doesn't look like you. it. Got to open. Um, oh, you're dead. I'm not dead, actually. You ready for our first fight? No. We're on. It's on. Uh, uh, Has he seen me? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I need to kill him anyway, so... Uh... Now he saw you. Could be in trouble here, right? Seeing as it's impossible to react at all. Oh, yeah, once, you, once you're hit, you're fucked. Look at this! <laughs> God. So this is going to be a lot of this game. Um, is going to be us dying slowly, okay? And there's not a lot we can do about it because that's just kind of how the game is. Can you kick faster? No. There is a weapon in this game, in this room. We need to get get it. Yes. Just keep kicking. Yes. That's right, zombie. Think you're so fucking good? <laughs> Eat my fucking heels. <laughs> Eventually it will fall over. Oh my God. If it ever hits me, we're fucked though. So how are you doing, babe? Well, you know. Some... Just kicking? Just doing here, sitting. Hey! Yay! Save immediately. Oh, we won! We never have to do that again! <laughs> Huzzah! Do you think the game will let me search things now? Maybe, maybe not. 
God, the controls. The controls are like tank controls on acid. <laughs> right, I guess I can't search that. Is this a door over here? It's very hard to tell. Yes. Okay. That's the kids' room. There should be something in this room. Why is the music still doing this? Is there nothing? There's another thing? Did I go in the wrong room the whole time? Maybe. Don't step on the thing. Let's go in here instead. Ah, oh, there. Yeah, this is where I needed to be. I'm an idiot. But at least the zombie's gone, right? Yay. The zombie's name is Dave, by the way. I decided. Okay. Okay, I got the key. Yay. I keep turning the sound up with my boobs. You should see. In a second, I'm going to open the chest, okay? Never please. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. You'll never know. You're going to do old, that we got, we got a melee weapon. You're going to regret that <laughs> one of these times. <laughs> what? what I, I'm just going to die. Yeah. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know this game at the back of my hand, okay? I hope you know it, but good enough to play through it all again if we die. <laughs> I mean, I've saved quite a lot so far. Oh, hi! That is a zombie. A different one. <laughs> this weapon breaks after an amount of time, by the way. Oh, really? That's stupid. Most of the weapons in the game do. Oh, that's dumb. I hate that mechanic in any game, really. It's broke, but he's dead as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> I found a saber blade. We actually need that later on. We can still hit him with the stump, right? Yeah? Can you? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, I guess we could try. Look, hang on. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I don't know how effective it is, I though. I probably won't do anything. Anyway, let's go through to the other side now. Careful, careful, careful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this does more damage than the kicks. I'd assume so. The kicks took fucking forever. Oh no. Hi. Oh. Oh, I might be in trouble here. Oh. Oh, I am facing trouble. him. Oh no, I hit him. I can't turn. Oh. I can't turn. <laughs> okay. Us versus this. <laughs> Get fucked. I'm ready. That's right. <laughs> The blood saber's gonna fuck your shit up! I can't believe I got him! I can't believe it's still working, even as a little stump. It worked it worked better than the fist, didn't it? Yeah. By miles. <laughs> oh, I should have labeled them all. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Listen, everything's fine, okay? Alright? <laughs> look at that face, it's not fine. Excuse what are you saying about her face? You know what I'm saying about her face, look at it. She's beautiful. You find a vase, we're gonna take the vase, alright? You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the vase, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna throw it. It kind of smashed directly in front of us there, which was a bit weird. But we found a broken vase. Oh my god. I mean, we made a broken vase, we didn't really find it. We found a key though, that was inside the broken vase. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. Just a walking is amazing. Okay, so we found two small mirrors. Okay. What will we do with the mirrors? Wouldn't you like to know? I mean, I would. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. You'll never know. I mean, okay, we're going to use it to solve a puzzle. <laughs> Careful. And here we go. Beautiful bathroom. You love bathrooms. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, so we're going to manage it. There is in limited inventory as well in this. Oh, really? But most of this stuff is useless already anyway, so it's fine. We've got a first aid kit. So in this, right, mm -hmm. the first aid kits, they, don't, uh, they heal you, but they also increase uh, your health. 
and things like that. Mm -hmm. So if we go to the first aid kit, right? Okay, and mm -hmm. then we open it and search, we find a flask. And that flask will increase our health permanently. Oh, okay. So we're gonna drink that now. Oh. I feel better. Yeah. Oh my god, ooh woo. So numb. All right, so here we're gonna get rid, in this room, because this room has got nothing else in it of note, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get rid of everything we don't need. Okay, so you ready? Empty flask. <laughs> okay, empty first aid kit. <laughs> nothing happened at all, Bubba Numkin. Nothing happened at all, okay? Okay. They were just Numkins, minding their own business. We're gonna put the mirrors on these statues. The ones in the corner that look a lot more like statues than living things. Right? I mean, they all look like statues, really. Why do I- I hate you so much. I hate you so much, game. There you go. Yeah, but did you pick up the other mirror? Yeah, I did. I need to put it on the other one, though. No. No, no. <laughs> Use. Oh. You didn't like that. <laughs> oh my god, look at the walking downstairs animation. <laughs> I know, I've already commented on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the game here, okay? I am going to be very annoyed <laughs> if you oh. keep saving in the same slot, but oh. you didn't this time. So he just swings on the spot, which is very rude of him. But it's okay because we're not going to take the damage. Very rude of him, though, right? <laughs> yes, very rude. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I need to get past him! But his fat bum! <laughs> his armored ass! Got in the way. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. I don't know which door I'm going through yet, we'll have a look. It looks like this one might be locked. Oh, maybe not. We'll have a look inside and see what room this is. Oh, look, there's a ghost sitting in a chair there, baby. Looks like a nomkin, don't you think? No. Why not? Because it's a ghost in a spooky mansion. There is nothing spooky about a ghost sitting in a chair. Look, it's not doing anything. It's just minding its own business. It's just like, I'm a donkey. Oh, okay. So we actually have ammo now. Can we actually load the gun? Okay, the rifle is reloaded. All right. There's something on the mantelpiece, and I'm worried that if I go for it, the ghost is going to be very upset with me. Well, why don't you save and then try going for it? Because I'm sneaky. I've got a poker and a matchbox. <laughs> and it didn't do anything. See, it's like, oh, I'm a numpkin. I'm going to save the game and see what happens if I go near it. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Oh? Oh. <laughs> I would say that was probably a bad thing. Don't you think? It turned into a kazoo. Pretty sure that's what happened anyway. No, wasn't that a... Didgeridoo? Yeah, that's right. Not, 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 a, not, kazoo. not a kazoo, didgeridoo. <laughs> Listen, they're, they're almost the same thing. Don't attack me, Armour. I'm just trying to walk past you like a little numkin, okay? We're free! We're free, Bubby! No, you really a numkin, though. Mm. That's the, where I want to go! Stop opening all the doors. I want to go in this one. Oh, no. There's a jellyfish. Yeah, I'm trying to- I need to grab this. Oh. This could be bad. Get this. Why aren't you not getting it? It's right there. It's right there, bumpkin. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, that's great, but pick up the thing on the floor! Okay, good. No run. No run. No, just leave the room. Okay, that's good. That was so rude. <laughs> that was so rude. Was Fortunately, we got another first aid kit. We're going to open it up. We're going to drink the flask. Because that's going to boost our health permanently again. Are we sure that's what it does? Oh. Uh, I mean, the walkthrough I'm using says you should drink all flasks immediately because they boost your health permanently. So, I don't know what else to say. I mean, we're not using a walkthrough. There's nothing else here. Isn't it so numb when Minx gets so sassy with me? <laughs> and she could just simply say, yeah, I think so. The room is very dark. Okay. Well, we have a matchbox. Let's use it. Don't we have a lamp? Yeah, we do. We lit the lamp there. Oh, I see. I got a very heavy statuette. Oh, I know. And a book. Can I read the book? Books aren't for reading, they're for making tables not lopsided. Are you sure about this? It's the first I've heard of it. Yes, I'm very sure. We need to get rid of the lantern somehow. How the fuck do I not use it? Throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Just check it. Uh, hit use again? Nope. Oh, I've got an idea. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Just changing the command. That worked. Such a rude jellyfish, too. Yeah, it's also like, unkillable. So. Like, I understand that I stepped it on you in the bathtub and that was kind of rude. But you could have just said, excuse me, I'm in here. And I would have been like, oh, oh, sorry. You ready for some revenge? You ready for this? Mm. Okay, so you see the very heavy statuette? Mm-hmm. This did not work. Oh. <laughs> I might die now getting it. Take. Okay. Yes! There we go. <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> oh, he dropped a sword. Oh, how nice. Do you think I should take it? I mean... Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave the very heavy statuette there, though, because we have to. Because it's very heavy. You know what I mean? M apparently you don't know what I mean, because you're not listening. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Where the fuck am I now? I'm going to drop the gramophone here, because we need it here later on. Okay. Not going to throw it, <laughs> in case it breaks. I don't think it can, but you never know. Oh! Oh! It's, ne <laughs> it's just such a weird just to position. I've got arrows, Bevy. Oh my god. You can shoot with- oh no. Oh no. I can't see where I am. Go. Can you leave the room? Apparently not. <laughs> Bubba, we're so smart. Bubba. Mm, are we? Yes. I saved the game in a different slot. You still haven't labeled it, though. I don't think you can once you've done it once. I'll try. I, I, mm. now listen. You you really love to say these things when you don't even try. <laughs> I am a numpkin. You are a numpkin. <gasps> but <gasps> you said I'm a numpkin publicly in the video. But you're a silly numpkin. But you said I'm a numpkin. And you're a stubborn numpkin. Oh, guys. guys. Guys, she said I'm a numpkin! I'm using prefixes! <laughs> prefixes, not suffixes? No. Yes. No. <laughs> I got a box of biscuits. Oh my god. 
That looks gross. We should use that to heal. I'm gonna use that to heal. Okay. Alright. We're actually gonna ditch a bunch of items in here. Alright, so what should we get rid of? We've got arrows, get the sword. Let's read the book. A brightness from a oh, Jesus. By Lord Boliscan, an account of his That's celebrated voyage to New England, 1824, Alistair Publications, Cambridge. Okay. Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbour came into sight. The locals were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one their queer hands that would inspire uneasiness. <laughs> Upon the promise of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. One admits to being skeptical as to the prodigiousness of the marvel. Shouldn't one be capitalized be. every time he says Indeed, it? Indeed, one suspects it to be little um, more than an no. evening stroll to some charming wooden hut. Why? Situated it's in referring the to himself. One um, will nonetheless go. I just don't think you do. Always well I don't know. Like, I don't know. Local enthusiasms. One admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. <gasps> the Milky Way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars, normally invisible to the naked eye, were clearly visible, glittering indeed with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity. Apart from the interminable length of such a list, one might conceivably risk being charged with exaggeration. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. This is long. The sea in the distance mm -hmm. was dead calm. Tonight, one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night, one will at last see Halley's Comet in all its brilliance. Halley? The youngster will carry torches, despite one's developed sense <coughs> of direction. Honed by years of travel, one feels incapable of finding one's way through the dark forest unable. You never heard of Halley's Comet? I, I hear, I've heard it as Halley's Comet. Yeah, I'd say Halley's, not Halley's. That's why. <laughs> the drawings will, one is convinced. Set light to the souls of men. Such a moon! <laughs> One lost count of the craters, so sharply was their definition. Is this the first Low time he's seen, like, a telescope or something? I approval. guess so. <laughs> One cannot but feel that the forest he's very excited is about the moon. a place outside the common laws of time and space. Surely it is not an hallucination. How strange to consider that idle conversation, some research in the British Museum, and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else could one explain the presence of that cross? I don't know. I have no idea. Either he discovered the telescope for the first time, or he was in a place that had, like, a really good, like, no light pollution level of, like, clarity. Which is pretty mind-blowing, honestly. Um. I guess. I'm just getting rid of stuff, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. We have a lot of stuff here that I'm not sure we need anymore. But I'm scared to drop it in case we do. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I guess we'll just continue for now and hope for the best, okay? Yep. The biscuits heal you, but they don't increase your max health, so I'm hanging on to those. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. Oh my god, game. <laughs> I, just went, I just threw them. No, you just found them. 
We're just there for the first time ever, right? Yeah. Alright, let's search this cabinet. Got a knife! I find the knife. I mean, let's equip the knife. I found two knives, actually. Jesus. I do like a good stabby stabby, baby. You know me? Obviously not in real life. <laughs> but, like, generally speaking, I mean. You're a big fan of stabby stabbies. I, I'm more into, like, cuddling the puppy, yeah? Oh my god, that's very cute, though. That's very kawaii. That's, that's really what I... I think someone's coming behind us. Yep. How rude. <laughs> I like how it's a smack sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Turn into bubbles from whence you came. God, that's a lot of rabbit poo. Yeah, I thought. Or I think, it, it I think it's gonna be coal, actually, but. <laughs> that's a very weirdly small. Like, if you're gonna have coal in a room. A box of shoes. Oh, those are shoes. How are those shoes? There's a revolver in the box of shoes. <laughs> no shoes. No, it must have been a box of sh a shoebox buried in the coal poop or whatever. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, I need the jug here to scoop up some water. I fell the jug. I don't actually know why, but you know. Listen, don't make, don't make questions. I'm sorry, that just looks like a bunch of rabbit poo. I don't know what it's meant to be. It's meant to be coal, I can tell you that. 100% <laughs> it's meant it to be coal. Because like... this is the kitchen, it, it makes sense to have coal rather than rabbit yeah, poo. Yeah, but it makes sense not to just have it in a tiny little pile in the, in, the, in the side. It makes sense to either have a whole room that's basically full of coal, or, or none. <laughs> I don't feel like there should be an in-between when you just got this dicky little pile in the corner. I mean, I guess that's fair. <laughs> it is a little weird. Oh, hi everyone. How you doing? Oh, I don't mean to interrupt your dinner party. Uh, no, kidding. You might want to... Run away blindly? Um, yes. I was going to say get out your knife. I, I actually think we need him, unfortunately. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, dear. I think he's gonna go and eat the soup. Problem is, I can't. Oh no, they're all—they're all sitting down. So. I think I did it. I think that calmed them down. I think I did it. Okay. I think that's all I was meant to do here. I think they keep getting up unless you put the food down. Oh look, someone's smoking. Um... That doesn't look, uh... <laughs> particularly healthy for you, darling. <laughs> yeah, it made me cough. Uh, hang on, hang on. Back out, back out. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Okay, alright, one second. Let's save. Before we go in the room that may cause us severe harm. Alright? Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. Okay, you can do it. <laughs> I think whatever happens, this is going to damage us. I need to use the uh, thing to douse the jug. To douse the... Uh... There! We defeated the cigars. Yay! That's an interesting effect. I, I think, to be fair, I think this game is way ahead of its time, right? Dance. Well, that one's locked, baby. Oh, yeah. But never this one isn't. They're not huzzah. They're not huzzah. They're not locked. I actually don't know what I'm doing right now, but we'll figure it out. I feel like that's not a good strategy to have. 
Excuse me? You heard me. I think it's a great strategy. I would venture to say, potentially... I didn't mean to go in here. The, oh, look at the jellyfish, it's there! It knows! <laughs> it knows! Okay. okay. So, see this picture here? Yeah. It's bad. It's a bumpkin. So we're gonna fight it? No, because we're gonna cheese it. Shall I show you how? Yeah. So, you know that ages ago we got the old Indian blanket thing? Uh -huh. We're gonna put that over it so it can't come to life and kill us. See? Oh. But if you don't do that, he comes out the painting and kills you. Oh. How are people meant to know this? Okay. You're, you're, you're going to see something even more weird and bullshit in a minute. Okay, I can tell you that. Okay. Alright, so what you need to do here is stand about halfway down here. Okay. Uh, you need to equip the bow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Save the game again in case I fuck this up. And I'm gonna have to reload and try and hit my target, which is very hard to hit, I may add. Multiple times here. Okay? Oh. Oh, I, I went too far. <laughs> that one was almost... I got it, I think! Okay. Maybe? I got it, and I only wasted one arrow. Go me! Go me, so baby! Ah. Uh, that was that was horrible. That said, we played a lot worse than this, haven't we? Yes. I like how we can't see it close up. <laughs> now that it's dead, I guess. There should be a door somewhere that I can go in. But it's just very hard to tell where the door is. This is the worst camera angle I've seen in a long time. It just really wants you to get got. No, where's the door gone? Gone up your bum. I don't even know if this is the right door. This is the wrong door. There's another door somewhere around here that we need, baby. Fuck knows where. Aha! Here. We did it, baby. Alright. got a book. <coughs> okay. Now, we need to use push here to push mm -hmm. this clock. That doesn't look much like pushing. There we go. I'm glad we figured that out. Otherwise, we could have been here for years. Why is that not working? Search the hole. Yes! I found a key and a parchment, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like, almost unprecedented, but not really, because it's a spooky haunted house. Maybe. Anyway, let's look at the parchment. The Creatures of Night by Hubertus the Bald. <laughs> Translated from name. Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann Marcus. Of monstrosity. You who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. The accursed book of Abdul al Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Hmm. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones. For he will free the powers of darkness. So, while I find some of these these playbooks books a bit boring, 
Um, I will say that the voice acting for the time is incredibly impressive. Mm. Like, it sounds pretty good. Of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the Deep Ones. <gasps> Awaiting his so prey, genuine love the Deep One yeah. seizes him and drags him down to the abyss, where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Jim. Of libraries. Unhappy he who frees the prowler. Unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not exist. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams stone no more than wind the vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless of strife he who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night folly evil is conjured up by science and secrecy Did he just stop talking? It does sound like it. He who prowls among oh. books. <laughs> He's reading from the previous the page. Blade. He who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who believes he knows, knows nothing. He who knows says nothing of death. There are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead but returns to the origins. A monster, a science, steel kills the vagabond who never dies. Translator's note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus, who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of our Lord, 1666. Requiescat in pace. Okay. Why did it save there? By itself, that was weird. Okay, baby, you ready for a very intense bit where we're probably gonna die a bunch? Yes. Okay, so we need to find those double doors that I couldn't get my ass in. Yeah, here, the library. Okay. This is gonna be pretty bullshit, and I'm probably gonna die a few times, so here we go, alright? Alright, so we need to use the, uh... What the fuck is it? All right, now I need to immediately put this down in the middle of the room, okay? And hoof it, okay? Gonna save here one last time. And now I need to run. I think I went the wrong way. Oh no. Oh, maybe not. I guess we'll find out. All right, you see the thing coming, by the way. Nothing important in this bookcase? Well, probably gonna die. What? Oh, hello. So this monster can't be killed, by the way, by anything we have on us right now. I know. There's a mechanism to trigger. Okay, we need to use the book. Hang on, is this- is that the book? No, it's a different book. Shit, I picked up a different book somewhere. <laughs> Oh no, I didn't. Did I leave a book in? Did oh my god, I might have. I might have like fucked this up. No, that worked. That worked. I opened the door. Okay. Oh, you just didn't read the book. Yeah, I don't. Don't worry about it for now. <laughs> don't worry about it ever. 
Go, go, go. He's coming through the wall. Oh, no. I think we did. You're oh, stuck. yeah. I'm stuck on him. Yeah, you're stuck on him. Ah, oh, I was so close. All right, let's try that again. Okay, I opened it with knowing it's there this time, you see? Yeah. But he can follow me into here, by the way. All right. All right. What do you need? I don't know. I'm panicking. <laughs> okay, I found a talisman. Okay. I need to search the bookshelf to get the weapon to kill the guy. Game, come on. I don't think he can actually come in here, it looks like. I find the dagger. Okay, that's what we need to use to kill him. Oh, Hang on. Found we just like found four. like seven daggers and seven... <laughs> I can't carry anything else! God damn it! Alright. We'll save here, okay? Yes. Okay. We're gonna have to manage our inventory in a minute. It's a dagger with a curved blade. I think it's this one. Okay. We'll kill the fucker. Hopefully. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Where, where the fuck is he? He's right there. I need to go into fight mode, I just realized. <laughs> no, wait, you were already in fight mode. I'm in trouble. Because you had the dagger out. <laughs> hey! hey! We used the right one. Like, fuck for that. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready to go ham on our ass there as well. All right, let's organize our inventory. Uh, and uh, we'll be back in a second, guys. All right, Nomkins, so we're going to read through... I, we've managed our inventory a bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to read through some of the things we found to see if they're any interesting. We'll start with the book. Juan Luis Jorge. Let's skip this bit. Translation does not alter the occult power contained within such forbidden texts. The malevolent energy is in no way diminished. The spell must be cast aloud and clearly. In certain languages or little known dialects. Maglafach Fathang. The reader will understand that, in the light of these revelations, I would be foolhardy to continue quoting from the text I have before me. If spoken aloud in its entirety, it would surely awaken powerful and malignant forces. I will go further and say that simple reading of some of the more technical passages describing specific practices is in itself a perilous exercise. The ill-prepared reader can easily fall prey to attacks of demented hysteria, not unlike those described in cases of individuals said to be possessed by evil spirits. I recommend the study made by Zempf, Urbain, Grandier, and Loudon, and the reports made by the Reverend Richard Price concerning a number of astonishing, to say the least, exorcisms carried out in a parish near Providence. Given what I have written, we must be grateful to the librarians of the British Museum who have never allowed consultation of the work of Al-Azif's startling work. The infamous Necronomicon. Um, num, 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 num. <laughs> Copies of that work do exist in spite of the zeal of book-burning inquisitors. For proof, we need look no further than the British Museum, of course, and the sealed archives of the Miskatonic University in Arkham. This is some very cliché Lovecraft stuff. Other examples of books whose evil can be unleashed by any thoughtless reader are von Jutz's von Unersprechlichen Kulten and the abominable De Vermis Mysteries by Ludwig Prien, whose sordid death should be a lesson to all those tempted by a study of the occult. Dun dun dun. Okay, moving on. We have. Hang on, did I read the book or did I read the parchment? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. We'll do this one. The Book of Yael. Signs of Stone. Eucharistic Rituals of Forbidden Cults. Lovely. Numerous devilish courts speak of monstrous creatures called the Old Ones. 
These supernatural beings are believed to be possessed of powers equivalent to those of the gods of antique religions. Adepts of such cults refer to forbidden literature in order to cause these frightful entities to appear before them. Said titties, baby. What serious student of folk myths has not come across the names of Cthulhu and Shub Nigurath? It must be said that these creatures wield tremendous power and are difficult to control once they have been unleashed into the world. Those who serve he who goes in shadows protect themselves with signs of stone carved into the walls of houses or engraved on various objects. For those misguided servants of evil, the best protection appears to be that afforded by the sign of the most ancient gods. Engraved in Manar stone, a heavy material said to be disagreeable to the touch. Disagreeable the to the sinful touch. Practices yeah, it's like... of those who fall into such errors can only lead to the darkest of despair and are a mortal <laughs> danger to the soul. Such monsters as those invoked by these foolhardy individuals are engendered when reason drops its guard. Man is easily tempted into perversion. It is why we must forever remain alert and renounce Satan with each breath we take. His ways are infinite in number. But way more fun, right? Right? No. Back me up, baby. No. See, that one changed name. So, the ones that you didn't read, read. yet are, yeah. haven't changed name yet. There's yeah. a lot. The, sac the two, actually. The importance placed on ritual sacrifice is constant in religious cult practice. Propitiating the gods is a theme common to many religions. The Old Testament affords many examples. Primitive polytheistic belief systems integrate sacrifice in their rituals as part of the recurrent process of reaffirmation and, naturally enough, group cohesion. The members of their social and religious community come together in an act of purification and atonement. I do like that each author has a different voice. Mm -hmm. It would be erroneous to imagine the act of human sacrifice, linking priest, offering, and God, C.F. Manzetti, Stone Cults, as anything less than a vital focusing of the group's faith. The act also ensures the continuing appeasement of the God, but only if practiced by a recognized officiating priest using the appropriate instrument. Studies made concerning primitive religious groups bear witness to the central role of sacrifice in living ritual. My own work in the field of ethnopsychology brought me into contact with a sorcerer living in the region of Arkham. He introduced me to the rite of steel, linked to a ceremony known as adoring the black goat of the woods with a thousand. Okay, that lungs. sounds really fucked. <laughs> the god. Being adored is known as the Vagabond. Here, the dagger's roar, which allows the life breath to pass from one dimension to another, is essential. The Vagabond is a frightening figure, being able to move where he wants and to kill those who have displeased the goat guard, for whom he acts as a go-between. The goat is clearly a fertility god. The priest, Having spoken the invocation, must choose the appropriate dagger for the sacrifice. Oh, is this how we were meant oh. to know which one it was? Oh, wait a second. Also, that 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 clears up the vagabond thing because I was just like, why are you talking about like a tramp? <laughs> What's In so? the other one? Goats, fertility goddesses is pretty sus, if you ask me. God. Goats. 
God. Gods. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> there's a knife with yeah, there's the picture of That's how we know what to do. I just picked it at random. A night when the moon is full, in water that has been distilled a hundred times, will be laid aside, since it would send a vagabond that's back into his own dimension. That's what we thought. Okay. See okay. illustration. That's actually kind of cool. The priest will rather choose the dagger with a curved blade. That is more appropriate for slitting of the lamb's throat. This act transfigures a sorcerer priest and plunges the assembled worshippers into a divine trance. I think I'll pass on doing that bit. <laughs> Alright, last document, I think. A book. Nomine invocatoris, si non sanctus. Okay, I'm gonna skip this because none of it's in English. Well, you don't know if the rest of it was. Uh, it killed me. Oh. It was a curse book. <laughs> well, when did you last save? Before I read the books. Why didn't you save after reading the book? Because I didn't know they were. Okay. In my defense, <laughs> I had no fucking idea they were going to kill me, but you guys have seen the books anyway, it doesn't matter anymore, okay? Okay, we're going to try this again, and Mingximu is going to try to actually use the game controls as they were intended to be used. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Alright, so this is the basement. I actually don't think we need to go in here yet, so I'm going to re retreat. I think we need to- we'll come back here later on, but for now, we just needed to unlock it so the key was out the way, you know what I mean? Yes. Alright, now we need to go to the smoking room and unlock the other door in there. Because... They, you know, we like a good smoke, obviously. And we also need to get into the room that's in there. Do we do? Do we really? Look at how well behaved they are, Bubby. Typical zombies, well behaved, right? <laughs> no. Okay. So here we have the study of the owner of the house. So here, we need to put this. Come you're on, get using close. it. You need to put it... Unless you're trying to knock it off. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I, I get confused. I need That's to put... Okay. You put the saber's handle there, then we need to put the blade in place as well. Fortunately, it doesn't matter if you've broken it. That's very noble. Yeah, very handy. It's very numb that it doesn't need it to be fixed. We're not going to go down there yet, by the way. Because that would be silly, Billy, right now, okay? We got a record. I wonder if we can use that with a gramophone. And another book. Not sure I want to read any books now <laughs> after what happened. I'm not sure I believe in books. Books aren't real, baby, okay? Listen, they're real. They could just hurt you a lot. <laughs> that one kicked my ass. It broke my fucking neck. There might- I think there's another door around here. Hang on, I'm going the wrong way. Where have I been and where haven't I been, Bebe? It's very confusing. What is this room? Oh, hi! Hello. Uh, this is a pirate, I think. Well, you might want to... He's immune to bullets. Well, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say maybe you want to get out a tingy. But he also has a tingy. I don't know if we're dueling here. I don't know if I'm hitting him or not. I'm just going to keep swinging and hope for the best, alright? Yeah. It's making a sound, right? Yeah. I mean, he's not hitting me, but I'm not sure I'm hitting him either. I feel like I am hitting him now, a lot. What is happening here? 
you're deflecting all of his attacks, and I think he's also deflecting all of yours. Oh? Oh, he can't leave the room. Oh, I hit him for the first- That is the first time I've hit him! I think you have to do more of a dually thing with him. I seem to be doing a lot of modern models with you. I hit him. Yeah. But he's hitting me too. Oh, I'm putting him in though. Yes! Yay! We defeated the pirate guys. That was quite challenging. But we only got hit once in this in this attempt. Isn't that numb? So numb. Alright, now, first of all, actually, save, so we never have to do that again. And then we open these doors here, I think, with the key he just dropped. The dance hall key, baby. We're going dancing! You ready? So numb. Oh, look, there's ghosties. Do you like ghosties, Bubby? No, we've already discussed this. But what if these ones are like friendly ghosties? I've never seen a friendly ghost. How about Casper? Casper's not friendly. He's creepy. <laughs> Why are you so mean to poor Casper? You were listening to the Dance of Death. I feel like that's not a good... Okay, I feel that if these touch us, we might be dead. And we had to get that thing from over the fireplace, right? So why did we... Oh, because they were standing in front of it. You couldn't get it. Can you, can you stop it? Nope. They just go back to position if you do. They don't seem to aim for you, at least. But... Run away! Okay, I got it. The frame rate in there was awful as well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So we now have... We got a key to a pirate's chest. Mm hmm Okay. Now we can go underground. We're, we're done with everything in the mansion now, I think. Isn't that so numb? So numb. Alright. I went down this accidentally three times off camera, but going down it myself is proving to be a challenge. Okay. So, you know how I said the running is bugged in this? Mm hmm This is a situation where that can really bite you in the ass. But it looks like I made it in one go. Oh my god. Are you sure you just stopped that? Well, no, this is like a warning on the main page of the game. Oh, hi! Thank you. Oh, dear. Oh, I am... ...getting numbed. Oh, he's gone. Did the worm give up? I can't tell. Oh, no, it's heading you off. The delayed reaction. I can't see where the fuck I am. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy's gonna fuck me up. You might want to just kill oh. that one. I've got an idea. We're gonna reload. Okay, and we'll try this again. Okay, I've got a plan this time. All right, baby. Mm -hmm. Once the worm goes away the first time, we kill that monster, and it'll give us some room. Okay. And a spot to say before the worm comes at us again. God, I'm so smart. I wish I, I wish... <laughs> You're the one that thought of it, but I wish that it was me. <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> ah! Okay. We've got the one hit in. Get over to this corner and save. I think it's stuck, actually. Look at it. Well, good. It stays stuck. I'm gonna jump over this now, okay? You ready? You ready to see how the jumping works? Because I'm not. <laughs> I can tell you that now. 
Holy shit! <laughs> She's got some range! It's very impressive. You take too long. Oh god, there's another one. Oh. Bullshit! <laughs> Hang on. Why did she fail that? <laughs> oh, I guess that I just was a bit too... Okay. <laughs> Stop selecting fight, game! It's my fault, I know. Not the game's <laughs> fault, but I can't help but blame it because it's in my blood, okay? Alright, here we go. Spider Bubby is gonna die, okay? His name is Dave. He is a Spider Bubby. Okay? Okay. That means he has the body of a spider but the mind of a Bubby. What about his face? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, wait. This thing's strong. Turn into jam! Yes! <laughs> we were saved by the jam gods, baby. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh. My. God. Alright. Oh, hi! Flying monsters, I love those. Oh no! How? How? Don't question it. <laughs> what? Oh my god. And she's doing this in heels. Very and impressive. And a pencil skirt. <clears throat> Still not sure why she... Well, I guess... Is this Edwardian or... Victorian. Well, if it's Victorian, this definitely doesn't make sense for an outfit. <clears throat> Maybe I'm completely wrong. It's entirely possible if I'm, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think we made it. I'm scared, baby. We're near the end of the game and things are getting a bit, a bit fiddly. And you know what the fun thing is, right? Mm -hmm. We have to escape out of here all the way back. Isn't that nice? Yeah, no. What is this? Okay. Where do you think we should go, Bubby? Oh, there's more flying things. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was close. And there's water monster, of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Quickly, baby. I know. I'm panicking. <clears throat> oh, this is this is horrible. Okay, we're back with a, a little bit. We we've cut out large sections of this room because it's been kind of bullshit. <laughs> this has been the hardest room. By miles. But it looks like we're towards the end, so we're, we're cutting back right now. Yeah, this was like balancing and with a very far away perspective, which was not numb. <laughs> I keep doing actions, it's so annoying. I've got to use the key here to open the pirate's chest. Mm -hmm. Got a gem. I cannot carry it. And I find a book. I can't carry it. Great. All right, so time to throw away some shit that we don't need. Uh, we don't need the key to the dance hall anymore, so let's get rid of that. How do I throw... There. Oh, that one threw. Yeah, that's that a bit... one flew miles. That's a bit weird. Let's throw away the Dance of Death record. We're never getting these back. <laughs> I hope we don't need them. <laughs> uh, me, me too. Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get rid of the Diary of a Journey. As they go into fucking orbit. Why are these? all going and the other ones just are just like eh, and then they just land at your feet I don't know it's really really fucking weird uh and the key to the cellar we don't need anymore <laughs> this is so 
stupid. All right, let's try that again. Take the gem and the book. Okay. All right, now we've got to push this boulder, I think, out the way. And I don't know how we would do that in a million fucking years. But um, apparently we are going to be strong enough to do it. So let's try, shall we? Yes. Wow, we are really fucking strong. Holy shit. We're badass as fuck. The only video game where that happens with a woman. Yeah, I'd be like, uh, where, where, what, we need to switch to the male character now? In order to, to do this? Oh wow, this place looks lovely. I've got a horrible feeling we're gonna have to go back through that walking maze, by the way. Run! Come on! Listen. All right. Get the get them get the thingy, the oil lamp. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. No, are you serious? Okay. Oh no. Don't worry. Okay, worry, cuz I actually have no idea where we're going, but I'm going to try, okay? You going to try? Gonna try the little nonkin. I don't think it's gonna go very well. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Well, I didn't say it was gonna go well. I said you're gonna try like a little nonkin. Is the lamp running out? I can't tell. That I would, believe. Okay. That that would significantly suck if it was. anyone in this actual situation would just be dead. I mean, she's very committed to doing whatever she was here to do that I can't remember. Uh, Uncle's will, something? Honestly, I don't know. Because it just said her uncle died and killed himself. And I don't know why she's here. I assume to, like, take care of his stuff. But she didn't actually say. And then her car drove away by itself, and she didn't care. I would care. Hmm. I wouldn't have even gone into the house, because I would have just been like, my fucking car, why is it driving by itself? And then I would have had to go into the house to try to find a phone, because this is like a, what do you mean, no room? I tried to use something, because I wasn't sure what it was. Okay, where are we going? Could be in trouble if we run out of light, I can tell you that now. But that didn't really answer my question. We're going to Numkinville. Oh my god, this sounds numb. The population, you know what it is? Numkins? You. What about the papilla? Yeah, I'm the papilla too. The papilla is the numbers to kins, you know. Aha, uh -huh, this is what we need. Oh no. The papilla is the grand numkin. The grand numkin, the supreme. The supreme of all the numkins. We made it out, baby! Yeah. We made it to what is the final battle. Oh, seriously? Yeah. But we have to get out as well, which is gonna... gonna oh. suck. <laughs> okay. You might want to get rid of your lamp, so you don't... Oh yeah, we need, we need it anyway to beat the boss. But, uh, not for a minute. See, okay. Oh dear. So we have a water monster... <clears throat> and fireballs here. Uh-huh. A great combination. I mean, it might be. I have to get the lamp. The lamp is wet. There's nothing I can do about it here, okay? Okay. Grandmother Willow is very angry. <laughs> okay, yes, they are. They're, they're a bumpkin. Okay. You don't know who Grandmother Willow is, do you? No. It's, but... it's the wrinkled tree in Pocahontas. <laughs> We're in real trouble! I did something. Did it work? Okay, I think it stopped the fireballs. Need to run away. Okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? Okay. I can fuck this up big time here. This is this is the big fuck up. Okay. So I'm going to save. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. The, the tree has been upset, obviously. We're going to use the oil can? Okay? Mm -hmm. 
Oh dear. He's right next to me. <laughs> We're gonna use the lighter. Okay. Now we're gonna stand facing this way and throw this and hope for the best. I think we may have done it, but we have to get out of the room now without getting killed by the thing. Oh my god. Oh, I think it upset the monster, actually. It did kill the monster. Okay, All right. yeah, but you might be dead next! Go! Climb! Is this the way out? It is the, the way we're gonna take out, yes. <laughs> it's the way out now! Okay, we we'll use the hook here, okay? Oh my god. Come on, do it. Suck the, suck the wall. <laughs> All right. Okay, save the game here. All right, you ready? Yes, no, but yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be really, really awful. Wish me luck, because I don't know which way to go, but I think this Good way. Good luck, Kermit. <laughs> yes, in here. In here. In here. Good luck, Kermit, did you say? Yes. Because <laughs> your face looks like the weird Kermit. I'm glad we have the fucking hook to open all these shortcuts that we, that we couldn't see before. <laughs> Run! That'd be good if it wasn't. Oh, this, we haven't been here. This is new. This looks more like the a hollowed out ridge game. Okay. <laughs> We're in the basement. Hooray. So gnome. Oh. Thanks for telling me about that, guys. <laughs> I hope this door stayed unlocked, otherwise I threw the key away. But I think we're alright. Because I did unlock it, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is this the right way? I don't know. Let's just go. Open him. I think we did it, Bubby! Oh my god! We have finished the game. I would not do this in the doorway. I would wait to get very far away before I celebrated. What's this music? Where's my fucking car? Oh, we're hitchhiking. No, that's a skeleton. No, that is our car. That's a clear skeleton! <laughs> we're fine. Why would you... Why would you stay in the car? Because <laughs> that's what our butler gym looks like, okay? <laughs> Don't be so rude! About his poor bony face. That is the end of the game. That is it. What are your thoughts on the original Alone in the Dark? Um. <laughs> I don't know why we did any of that. <laughs> um. I gotta say, there's not much of a story to be had, but I feel like in this time era. The story was told through the manual, and not the game. Yeah. So I guess I shouldn't expect there to be much of a story. Um... I... I don't know... Were the controls, like, decent for the time? You'll have to tell me, because I didn't play games this era. Um, I mean, I think it's pretty good for the time. You know what I mean? Like, if you think this is, like... What year did Resident Evil come out? I have no idea. So Resident Evil came out in 1996, so that was f another five, four years after this? So yeah, this is really before its time. This is like Resident Evil and Silent Hill four years before there was Resident Evil or Silent Hill. So I think that's pretty impressive and a pretty cool, and um... I thought this was alright, yeah. It was an enjoyable experience, pretty jank at times, I, but... I didn't think it was scary. No, it definitely isn't but by today's standard. I, I thought it was funny <laughs> more yeah. than anything. Um, I mean, I can understand, you know, it, it's gonna, it's not gonna feel necessarily scary. It's, it's a long time. It, it's, um, but it was alright. 
you know, we've played we, we, worse. We, we, we played, we've played through the, we, I think we played through the whole original trilogy and beyond that. There's like, there's like seven of these games. Mm. We wouldn't mind playing some more Alone in the Dark games, I don't think. This was okay. It was inoffensive and silly and... Didn't we play the remake? Like, we have, no, we have not played it yet. There's, oh, there's also we, played, we played Alan Wake, which was basically... Alan Wake 2 is out next year, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> but that's why I got confused. The covers are very similar. Yeah, so we have... Yeah, so uh, there's Alone in the Dark 1, 2, and 3, the original trilogy that all look like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there's Alone in the Dark, the new Nightmare, which is from the PS2 era. Then there's Alone in the Dark for the Xbox 360 and PS3. Okay. And then there's an Alone in the Dark multiplayer game from like four years ago that's dog shit. <laughs> so yeah, there's quite a lot of Alone in the Dark games. Well, if you want us to play it, uh, go to our Patreon and, and uh, vote for it. Yep, sign up on Patreon, nominate playthroughs, vote on playthroughs. Next up is Silent Hill Origins, and uh, we'll be seeing you for that really soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching, in, everyone. In the meantime, you can go watch... Uh, Another game set in a Haunted Mansion, The Haunted Mansion. Oh, yeah. We played earlier this month. Yeah. There'll be a link in the description to that. Make sure if you haven't watched it, you do. It's spooky dooky. And a better game than this one, I would, I would say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed Alone in the Dark. And uh, we're going to go and know each other. That's rude. Yeah. Okay, bye.